the Bachman motorized turntable. Well, I ordered this Bachman's turntable and I could not find very many videos on YouTube that could help me with it. So I'm making this one today. In my case, I'm putting it inside my layout. This is just laid in there at this point. But I couldn't figure out whether I should go with the power to come from actually the control to come from my DCC unit or if I should do the controller that comes with the unit and, and control it my own, in my own fashion. If you use this you don't need a DCC unit. So I'm going to experiment today with installing this and run it that way and then I've ordered a chip that goes inside here and it's a regular um, decoder that would go in any uh, engine and that way you can talk to it with your DCC unit. In my case I'm using this Prodigy Express. Now if I was to use this I would run it just like a regular locomotive address, use the throttle to control the turntable and direction to control which way the turntable turns. My thinking is that maybe I would rather have this because my hands are going to be busy enough controlling the train, the engines, that if I could just reach down and just flip this back and forth, that that would be an, a better fix. So I'm not sure on that. I'll, I'll see how it goes. In my case, I hope to be able to get enough space to put four or five engines in this area. And we'll see where it goes. I have to adapt my layout a little bit to fit them. I'm going with code 83 track and what I did is I filed down the, the uh, transition piece and it wasn't very much. It's not connected yet but that's what's going to happen. I've already filed down that um, I've already filed that down so they now are connected smoothly. And then after that it's pretty easy because the code 83 or code 83 the um, easy track just clips right into the a turntable so there's a smooth natural connection between the two like-minded uh, pieces so um, that's all I know for now check back